Hello, my dear YouTuber friends, and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video, and in this one, I'm going to be showing you my bespoke SIP light setup and how you can go about doing this yourself. There's a couple of caveats to this, as there always is. But how you can set up your own bespoke SIP setup, I hope you can see that things are different. I've now got things like parking brakes, also pilot. Uh, flaps and goodness knows what's on the so let me just show you the flaps there you go on the right there and all the caution lights pretty much on the left and as you can see very different to the default one how you go about doing this and how you install the latest firmware which is 1.3.3 for your velocity one okay let's not dilly dally let's get on with this video to start here people have been asking where is the firmware 1.3.3 or 1.3.3 firmware where is it well you need to start your velocity one uh, control center I've got it on PC this time I've just started it selected the velocity one it's saying there set your firmware update mode on the velocity one itself this is where you get the firmware from so I'll go through this once again with you. I think I have shown this in a different video, but I can show you here. Just go down to settings and in settings you want to get to firmware update. Move your mouse pointer down here, click that on. And there you go, that turns off. And hopefully, well the computer's saying now checking for updates. And there you go, firmware update 1.3.3, I'm going to press update there, updating firmware, usually takes 5 or 10 minutes, In on the velocity one you've got update mode, so that's how you update to firmware 1.3.3. And just a quick addition here, you can see now updating firmware 99%, I've not touched my PC on my laptop. All the velocity one while it's been updating as you can see that's resetting now that was actually good timing your device is up to date so now I'm just gonna let the re velocity one reset you can see all the lights have come on in the back and that's now reset and up to date important when you are updating let it run through it let it come back it's up to date let your velocity one reset then you're safe to close the control center and start using your velocity one with the new with the new firmware update now let's get on to the sip panel i'm in the midst of doing my own bespoke display for the sip panel at the back a lot of you may be aware excuse the noise i've got uh, flight sim running in the background that you can simply lift this off this is like a it's got magnets on the back of it i believe or something lift it off and then put it to one side and then it just fits back on basically so you can lift that off so that's the default one as you can see the parking brakes landing gear on the left and all the warning lights on the right there put that to one side i've started to design or create my own sip so i've put the parking brakes in my case on the right and i've just put flaps there now it does come with stickers the velocity one it comes with a spare template which i'm putting stickers on myself and it comes with a lot of stickers it does have flaps up and flaps down there so effectively you could have two different uh warning lights for flaps up and flaps down i'm just going to keep it simple and I've just called it flaps because you can see the different lights as you engage your flaps. So there you go. I've got to do the rest of it. Do be aware that this spare panel that templates there does come with a kind of sticky film on it. Remove that first. I didn't before sticking the stickers on because if you ever need to remove that film and you've got the stickers on the film, all the stickers will come off when you remove the film. So remove the film first and then put your stickers on I, I thankfully managed to rescue them too 
So there you go, I'll continue with that and effectively, well I can show you now that would just, oops, sorry, that would just slip on the back there and there you go. Now, maybe I've got to move those stickers up a little bit. As you can see, these, it's difficult to tell from this, but these are see-through. Once you unpeel them, you can see that these, the writing on this is see-through. So as you can see on the Velocity 1 there, uh, I hope you can see that. You've got parking brakes and flaps. I've just got to mess around with those stickers slightly because I can see a bit of light leaking just above them. So I'll just make peel them off uh, carefully and stick them back off, stick them back on so there's no light bleed. But I shall continue with that and show you my own bespoke, <laughs> bespoke SIP setup. So I've stuck the rest of the stickers on that I wanted. And as you can see, now just I'm actually in a flight at the moment, or actually sat on a runway, runway 27, London City of course. And you can see there, hopefully you can see, maybe I'll take this off in a moment to show you clearly what I've done there. But I've put all the pretty much warning lights, you can see fuel low is flashing there because I've turned my fuel down, vault slow. That does actually extinguish once you... Uh, Put your throttle up and comes back on when it's down. I, I do like that. Things like park and brake, autopilot, and a couple of other, th other, other things there. There's a couple of caveats to this. Not everything's working as I would hope. And I will go into this in just a moment. But let's just remove that. And I can show you exactly what I've done there. So there you go. Master warning, master caution. As you can see, a couple of these stickers are wonky. I'm going to give you a couple of tips here when putting these on. Uh, nav, nav lights is really off centre. Maybe I'll have to take that off again and re-stick it if I can. And there you go. There's the rest of them. That's my setup that I've done. Now let's go over a couple of these issues, shall we? The stickers themselves, the sticker sheets. Once you've got them off there and you stick them on to this thing or this spare plate, template, they're difficult, once you've got them on it's difficult to take them back off again. I've tried a couple of them, you end up curling up the corners and goodness knows what. They're very sticky which is great, so once they're on they should stay on. Getting them back off is a bit of an issue. You only get one copy of these sheets. Turtle Beach going forward it would be great to see a couple of these just in case you make a mistake or want to take stickers off or stickers fall off or something of that sort. So things like autopilot, parking brakes and goodness knows what, you only get one set and I've taken a, qu I've taken a quick search of the internet, couldn't find anywhere where you can get a spare one, maybe from Turtle Beach themselves, spare decal stickers. So just be aware of that, what I would do, oops, let me just move you up is actually put your extra template or plate on the back of your Velocity 1 there. Have it on and then put the stickers on with this on and with all lights turned on. So I've actually got some turn, turned off there. But maybe out of the sim where all the lights are turned on in one colour, then stick the stickers on. A couple of them I've done and they're pretty much perfect. A couple of them are pretty wonky. I'm going to keep it like that just to show you the issues I've had. So just be aware of that when sticking your stickers on, those spare stickers. Oops, I just hit my yoke system there. <laughs> when putting a couple of those stickers on, or putting all the stickers on, have that already installed to the back there. And you can see any light bleed. As you can see, I've still got a bit of light bleed on some of them. I'm not too worried, actually. Makes it look like a very bespoke amateur setup, which I am. <laughs> and I'm not all CD about it. Some of you may be, so have that on, just so you can see where to stick the stickers perfectly. Okay, so with that, how did I set that up? Let's go to that part now. I'll jump on my laptop, in this case, and show you how I set up all these different lights in the order I've got them. So over on the PC, I'm going to show you how you set up SIP Connect so it corresponds with your bespoke template. I showed you mine before. Get your Turtle Beach icon. Have it up and running. So 
actually double click the program sim connect to have it up and running you get the icon down here double click that and this should come up while i've got the icon showing make sure you've got microsoft flight simulator 2020 ticked here otherwise it won't show these options to the right so make sure that's ticked and you should get something like this running i don't have the sim running it seems to work fine out of the sim that's the default layout as you're all probably well aware of i'm going to set it to the way i've got mine so what i do from the right here make sure that's all all the way to the top i'm going to left click and hold and drag each of these options over to where i've got it set up so things like the parking brakes i'm going to left click and hold drag it across to where i've got it set up on my template which is here so there's my parking brake the autopilot is next to it autopilot status there's a bit of a caveat with that doesn't still not work as intended i'll come to that later at least for me flaps position flaps status i've got it set up over here landing gear where's landing gear i've got it set up at the bottom right there i've got gps and nav yeah gps and nav set up here it's one of the pitfalls currently of this sip connect you've only got various options that you can set up for lights pretty much what's on the default template things like nav so if you turn your nav on in the aircraft it's not an option currently so i'm going to set it up as a blue color you can set it up whatever color you prefer white blue i'll set it up as a blue color and the same for gps sorry that was gps and that's nav on my bespoke template so i've just got them both set up as blue colors they'll stay a solid blue you can put them to whatever you prefer over here to the left i've got my master caution let me just make sure master caution master warning on the far left here master caution next to it so again i'm just left clicking and holding and dragging them over here stall warning is in the same place i don't need to change that fuel low that's fuel status i've got it set up over here i've got my volts set up there by default i've actually got it next to it over here so volts low will be over here uh, i've got this set up as nav lights there's not an option here to set up nav lights to have it showing as a light so i'm going to set that up as blue so there you go just to double check i'm just verifying myself master warning master caution fuel status fuel low that type of thing stall warning volts autopilot status parking brake these two won't show in the sim so i'll just set them up as blue colors flaps and landing gear once you've done that be sure to save it save profile put in a profile name and file name i've already saved it i actually didn't show you this in the, in the last video but you can go to if you don't like that default folder go to browse and you can set up your own folder i've actually set one up myself which is sip profiles so there you go click that all my profiles will now save in there. I've already saved it, so I'm not going to save it again, but save it to whatever file name and profile name you want, and then save it. Now we'll jump back to the external camera and show you the SIP panel in operation. So let's just go over a bit of housekeeping here, shall we? I'm sat up runway 27 at London City Airport. Still got my fuel low, as you can see, it's flashing there. Things like nav lights, GPS, nav... Like I showed you before, there was no option in SIP Connect to get these working in the sim or flashing or lights going on and off, that type of thing. So I've just set them to a solid blue. You can set them to whatever colour you wish there. Uh, but just to have them light up, or you can have them as just blankets up to you. I chose to have them lighting up. Or a solid blue colour there, as you can see. Another thing here, things I've got this set as my autopilot. I'll click it. Now it's come on in the cockpit on the sit panel it's at least for me the autopilot status light is not showing if i turn it off now i can see it's flashing in the cockpit so i've turned it off it's not having any effect on the status indicator panel though the sit panel so turtle beach are a representative if you're watching this 
Maybe that could be looked at. Another thing, something that caught me out, so I'm going to mention it here. On your front display here, go down to settings. And in settings, go to your, let's see, status panel mode. Make sure you have this center one with the aircraft above it enabled. So you can use these up and down buttons. Make sure you have this one ticked and enabled. Otherwise, this will just remain one solid color. You won't get those SIP lights, the various SIP lights showing there. That caught me out, so I thought I'll just mention it there. Listen, I'm quite enjoying this. There's quite a lot of other stickers which don't seem to be supported by the uh, SIP Connect yet, but hopefully that will be, these will be supported. Things like fire warnings, that will be interesting. So you get flashing lights if you've got a fire, you can set up a fire in the aircraft and you'll get the flashing lights and goodness knows what. Lots of room for improvement in the future. I know there's been a few issues with the firmware. I know people have been having issues with 1.3.0. Go and update it to 1.3.3. I've had no issues on the PC side. I've done a few flights. No issues so far. Do let me know your thoughts on the video. Join the Discord below and share your own bespoke SIP panel setup. If you have one, share pictures of it. Let me know your thoughts, give the video a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, many more flight simulator videos on their way, and I'll see you soon.